So take a look at this notebook. It's just made up of a leopard pattern. And uh, if you take a look inside, it's just an empty notebook. There's nothing inside, just lines. And uh, if you come to Vexels, I just tap animal patterns and you can see several animal patterns that you can use for your notebooks. And if you scroll down, here's a zebra pattern. Uh, this one is pink or neon leopard. This snake skin, black snake skin, and this is leopard pattern. So you can see that there are several patterns here. This is cheetah. There are several patterns that you can use for your notebooks because right now it's back to school season. There are over 10 pages of just animal patterns. So right now it's back to school. Parents are purchasing books for their kids and uh, they are purchasing notebooks, purchasing composition books, purchasing graphs. So in this video, I'm going to show you how, well, I'm going to show you the top five back to school books that you can create for this back to school season. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where I teach you how to make money online fast and easy. In today's video, I want to continue with the top five niches of the top five books in our Amazon KDP niche research. I created this episode 34. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first book is this Leopard book as in the beginning of the video, I showed you this is a very easy book to create. All you need to do is just grab a leopard pattern right here as a cover. We can use this. Actually, this is giraffe skin. Um, I think I saw a leopard pattern. All right, this is leopard pattern right here. So this is another leopard pattern that you can use. This is another one, leopard skin. So there are several ones. Pink and uh, leopard skin, seamless pattern leopard. So there are several patterns here that you can use this page too. Okay, let's go back to page one, the one that you saw in the beginning of the video. Um, this one right here. So there are several covers or several patterns that you can use to make covers for your books. And right now it's back to school season. Kids are purchasing notebooks that they can use in school. This one is just 8.5 by 11, 110 pages. It's not difficult to create, guys. If you go to Book Bolt, I will leave. I have the link to Book Bolt in the description below. You can use the code Make Money Online All Lower Kids Letters for a 20% discount. And uh, with Book Bolt, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can create a cover for this book. So. We're gonna create a cover. You can also create an interior with book bolt, so it's a um, really really useful for that. So we're gonna create a cover, and the trim size is gonna be 8.5 by 11, and the paper color is gonna be white, and page count I think is 110. Let's go back and see. Yes, 8.5 by 11, 110 pages, and we'll come back to book bolt. 110 pages white paper and we'll submit so we're creating a cover so this is the reason why i like using book bolt because for covers like this i don't have to calculate anything like um before i was had to do actual mathematical calculations my calculator to get the trim size for the cover but right now with book bolt i don't have to do anything i just put in the size that i want and it automatically automatically created for me with the bleed and everything inside i just need to design so what i'm going to do is come here to let's see all right we're going to use this leopard design or we can use any other one um but for the, the purposes of this video we're going to use this leopard design so i'm just going to click download and you can see when you click download they're going to show you more patterns that you can use or uh, that are similar to the ones you downloaded and look at this guy several leopard patterns and um, i'm just going to open this so here's the leopard pattern that i downloaded from vexels i'm going to go back to book bolt and i'm going to go to i'm going to go to the images and I'm going to drag and drop this animal pattern. So I'm going for the jpeg.jpg file and I'm going to drag it and drop it here and you can see it has already uploaded. So when you click it, 
I'm just going to quickly enlarge it a little bit and boom, we already have a cover. The next thing that we need to do is to add notebook like this. So what I like to do is to go to the shapes and uh, go to a square, use a square pattern right here or uh, either use a square pattern or I use a, a rectangle. So either of them is fine. So I'm just going to click it there and pull it to the middle, open it a little bit. And here I'm going to write notebook or whatever title I want to write. I'm going to go to, I'm just going to quickly take duplicate it. And what I'm going to, what I'm doing right here is creating the spine for the book. So I want the title to match the spine. So I'm just going to do this, creating a spine for the book. Then I'm going to shift that to the middle. Scroll down to the text and we can use this one right here and turn text. I like it because it's bold and we can just write notebook. I'm gonna pull pull it down there and change the color to white. So as you can see, I'm already done with my cover guys. Um, let me just reduce this a little bit. It looks too big. And if I want to write notebook for kids, no notebook for adults, and all that, I can increase the size and write all of that. But since I'm writing notebook, this is good. So guys, how many minutes did it take me to create this notebook? It's virtually less than two minutes. But I had to do a lot of explanation. That's why it took me up to two minutes. But guys, look how simple this is. And we have a whole lot of animal patterns if you don't want to do animal patterns you can do other kind of patterns. you can just search for patterns in general all the patterns will pop up but i search for animal patterns and that's why we have only animal patterns you're seeing only animal patterns so that was on niche number one i just wanted to show you how you can cre quickly create a cover like this one right here and it has over 979 ratings and uh, price for 99 guys so we can create this i just show you how you can do it and for the interior 8.5 by 11 uh, i spoke about i did a quick tutorial on how to create interiors in my previous video the one that i did yesterday it says succeed with kdp tips to succeed with amazon kdp low content right here this one i showed you how you can create an interior using the a bundle that vexels gave to me and um, you can also have access to this vex to this vexels bundle if you purchase their new annual kdp plan which is this one right here i spoke a little about this yesterday so i don't want to talk about this in this video if you want to learn how you can get that whole bundle what what that bundle entails actually this is the bundle the bundle is um it has swells and frames i spoke about this yesterday guys so if you want to know all about this i recommend that you come to this video and watch it succeed with kdp um, you can actually have access to all these things in this bundle this is a scalable pattern i also explain how you can make scalable covers patterns with with this um, scalable pattern bundle then the scalable kdps and uh, this one is for k-pop and um, and there's a low content interior template so this is i spoke a lot about this yesterday and uh, this is uh, what i was talking about how you can create actually i used the white roll paper template to create a book i think in about five minutes i created an interior custom interior with the the, the front page and uh, this belongs to page and all the like i did all of that in this video i gave you extra tips on how to do it so if you haven't watched this video i really recommend that you do but if you want to have access to this bundle i recommend that you purchase this plan right here is a annual kdp plan they just launched this plan you have two design requests per month and you can request to design your book covers with vexels they're professionals and you can also download the book covers that they have 125 downloads per month and um, this is what you get with the 
the launch bundle so you get a pattern generator kdp interior templates hundreds of assets like frames walls and more and special halloween resources and that's not all um also with this with the launch of this kdp new plan they also have interiors that have also started keep Vexos has also started launching their, their own interiors. So here, this is a coloring interior. This one is for insects. This one is transportation. As you can see, there are several interiors. So not only do they make covers, as you can see right here, that you can download with the KDP plan, the new KDP plan. You can also download the interiors directly from Vexos, guys. So it's a new plan that you all should check out. And um, this is my page. You cannot get these offers you're getting on their page. So on my page, you actually have a 35% discount. But as you can see right here, the 5% discount. But you can't get this same plan on Vexos's page right here, 35% off. You can't get it. And that is why I recommend that you use the link in the description so you can get 35% off. So guys, that was just a... The, version there but i recommend that you get all the details about this if you check out this video here tips to succeed with amazon kdp i show you how you can make patterns how you can change uh, make your own patterns how you can make your own interiors custom interiors so all of that is on this video i recommend that you watch it so now we're moving to niche number two niche number two is this graph paper notebook is four by four quad root paper so in that bundle that vexel sent me and by the way if you purchase it then vexels if you purchase the kdp plan vexels is going to send you your own bundle and uh, in that bundle if you take a look at it right here it's the it also has a four by four graph paper template so that's what we're going to use to create a book like this if you look inside and you scroll down it just says be strong the name and then it's empty so, so guys all of us can create a book like this it says find your goal and pursue it wow this is quite uh, encouraging 3.99 wow that price is really really low uh, wow guys this was uh, made just how many days ago july it's not so long ago that this was made 2021 so you can see this book has already started selling uh, at a price 3.99 and uh, using the 4x4, 8.5 by 11 inches graph paper. You know, this is back to school season. Students are looking for this to go back to school. It's 100 pages. We can easily create this, guys. So I don't want to repeat how you can create an interior using the, the bundle because I already did it in this previous video. That's why I'm recommending that you watch it. I get a lot, I give a lot of tips that you could use, and uh, I don't want to go over all of that because you can just easily go to a video and watch it. It's actually 25 minutes. I did a lot of explaining there. So guys, I recommend that you really do watch it. And um, in that video, I showed you how you can create the white rule paper template custom. And it's the same thing that you're going to use with this 4x4 graph paper. So you can create your own interior, custom interior with uh, this belongs to page and all the like. Uh, decorate it the way you want and uh, you can create your book cover using book bold. so guys it's very very easy using the tips i just giving you it's very it is very very easy to create a book like this and start selling as soon as possible as students are going back to school so guys that was it for niche number two niche number three is this very very simple composition notebook so Obviously, students use composition notebooks in school, so they, new, they use graph papers, they use uh, white rule papers, they also use composition notebooks. So this is one, 100 pages, and uh, this one actually specifies that it's for grades K2. So if you want to specify like for kids, for adults, grades, even like K2, or grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4, if you want to specify like that, that's really up to you. But this one really specifies that it's for K2 and for girls. So niching out to is another thing that is recommended. And uh, let's take a look inside. I'm, I can bet you it's very empty. And let's scroll down and see. Uh, what did I say? It's an empty book. <laughs> so that's what we're doing right here, empty books. And um, I really, really recommend that you guys create a book like this. Uh, it's not difficult to create so let's scroll down uh, we see that 
So here are the reviews that people have purchased from this book, Adorable. So they're all liking the book and um, well, two star reviews here. I really don't know why. One came fine, the second one came dirty, like a wheel track over it. Yeah, sometimes that happens. There's nothing you can really do about it, but the book is great so far, as we can see. So that's for niche number three. Niche number four is this kindergarten writing paper. So this is another one that specifies which people this is like the audience this is for, and it's for kindergarten to be specific 120 pages let's take a look inside so they can spell with this they can write with it so it has dotted lines and it's also an empty book how many pages let's take a look at this um, 120 back blank pages so guys what i've noticed is that if you're writing your description sorry your title if you're writing your title you should make sure to include the number of pages as well as the size because that is what like many people don't like to I'm talking from a customer's perspective I don't like to scroll down and start reading the description if I'm searching for a, a book if everything is found in the title like you can see your 120 black blank pages and uh, I think we have a good example from this graphic part. yes this graphic part tells a lot about it it says very well it is 8.5 inches so from the title I can tell Everything that I want about this book without reading the description. I want an 8.5 by 11 book. Check. It is 4 by 4 quad rule graph paper. Check. How many pages? 100 pages. Check. And it's for what science students? Good. I'm great to go. So that is what we should be doing with our titles. I realize that many people are confused about how to write titles. So you can see these two dots right here, the colon right. And you can see this column comes after graph paper notebook so at the back end of your book or uh, where you have to upload your book you see here book title right this is where this graph paper notebook goes to so let me just copy this paste here this is where graph paper notebook goes to then the rest of this description right here goes to your subtitle because that is how you have that's how this column comes into play so once you put anything in the subtitle, it comes after the column. And if you have something written on your cover, like graph paper notebook, that is what has to be in the title. I know some people are complaining having rejections when they submit their books. is because of this title. So I had to mess around and uh, test a lot of things before I knew that this is how it works. So guys... If you had a problem with this, let me know in the comment section below if you faced difficulties, if you had book rejections before because of your titles and all the like. Please let me know in the comment section below. So, please don't, let, let us know in the comment section below. So guys, that was it for our niche number 4. Moving over to a niche number 5. Actually, I have a bonus niche for you guys. So, Niche number five is this video game composition notebook. So this video game composition notebook is also a pattern of uh, video game controllers. And um, also you can get that on Vexels. It's also a pattern. And uh, there's really nothing to this book, guys. As you can see, it's, I can bet you it is empty. And um, so as you can tell, it's wide rule notebook. Empty, like I said. How many pages? Let's take a look at that. So this notebook also... From the title, you can tell everything you want to know about this notebook. It's 100 pages. It's 7.5 by 9.25. So you see, this is what customers like to, to know immediately. So if I'm sitting for an 8.5 by 11 book and I see that this is 7.5 by 9.25, I will not go for it because that's not, that's not what I'm searching for. It makes it easy for me. But someone who is searching for this will immediately go for it because it's really on the title. So I, I, there's no way I can stress more about that. It's really very important. Your titles and description is very, very important. So the author of this book also makes mention that it's for kids, teens, adult gamers. That's more keywords. So if someone is searching for notebook for teens, this book will pop up. Notebooks for kids, this book will pop up. Notebook for adults, it's going to pop up. Notebook for gamers, it's going to pop up. So that's how you have to write your keywords and uh, if any of these keywords that are found in the description 
from the title you don't have to put this description in the, the you don't have to put those words in the description anymore so we'll have to look for more books that are more keywords that are not found in the title that's what we'll have to put in the description i know some people get confused about how to write the title descriptions and all the like so these are tips that you should use and uh, that have that, worked for me they should definitely work for you so that was it for niche number five i'm just going to give you a bonus niche guys so this bonus niche is a um, 200 more snow site words i just threw in this uh, bonus niche because it's also related to back to school so site site words 200 most no i also found this on flying research by the way that's why i got all these niches flying research i'm using the kdp uh, section on flying research let me just quickly show you guys what i mean so when you go to flying research go to home so when you, you when you sign into flying research you'll be on this page and um, go down to bestsellers click it go to the marketplace that you want to research maybe it's the us the uk germany and all they like then click the product kdp so i was always using t-shirt uh, i use this t-shirt for the print on demand niche research but for this video i'm doing kdp so you click kdp and you click search and that's how i got all these books guys so i just had to drop this in here because it's related to back to school 200 most no sight words is an activity workbook and uh, is for uh, reading and writing learning different skills so this one too has been selling quite well let's take a look inside and see if we can get any new things so one thing that caught my attention is this right here so more more books by smart kids notebook so if you have more books you can take a look uh, you can screenshot them and put them in your next book so if people purchase this book and they are interested in more of your book instead of going by your name and they also have uh, visit more books by smart kids notebooks scan the QR code they also have the QR, o QR code or you can visit this link so they have links to their website which is what we've talked about in our previous videos they also have pictures of their previous book so if the no one wants to visit their website they can go ahead and look at this book and say oh this is a number tracing book uh, my kid doesn't have a number tracing book and you can just go to amazon they, i'm talking about the parent the parent will just go to amazon and search for a number tracing book and um, boom they have landed on your your next book and they purchase it so it's like a spiral a circle over and over again so this is what we should be doing in our first two pages Either we're getting the links to our website or we're getting the links to our email addresses where people can get freebies. But what we're trying to do is build a community of loyal buyers. So each time we send them a notification. And also on social media, we should have social media pages where our fans can follow us and get updates each time we release new books. So that is what this um, I've noticed that people are doing the authors are doing and that's how they have repeat bias so this book right here is just a an ABC tracing book and we can find all of this in creative fabrica link in the description below so at the back of the book you have um, a sample of the book which is what I recommend that you do and the uh, table of contents <laughs> I didn't expect to see this but uh, I was expecting just to see a copy of the the four copies of the interior of the book which is what they have here and uh, i guess that is it guys so if you found this helpful guys uh, please give it a thumbs up if you would like to learn more about print on demand and kdp there's a channel for you hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification so you'll be the first notified when i release a new video with that being said see you on the next one